So today is February 27th, 2020, which is the 24th anniversary of Pokemon existing in the world and the release of the original Pokemon Red and Green in Japan. Effectively, it's Pokemon's birthday and it's super awesome. Happy birthday, Pokemon. Every single year, because this is a really big deal, Pokemon always do something special on this day to the point where it's known as Pokemon Day. And this year, they did something big because they released or revealed rather a brand new mythical Pokemon coming to Pokemon Sword and Shield, and that mythical Pokemon goes by the name of Zerude. In this video, I am basically going to do a complete breakdown of this Pokemon, first and foremost giving you guys my personal thoughts and opinions and reactions to the Pokemon, and then we're actually going to go into its design itself, try to explain some of its background, and try to also speculate on what could be some very interesting lore within the world of Sword and Shield for this Pokemon as well. Alright, so in terms of my general reaction and impressions and overall opinions of this Pokemon, I feel like its design has a lot of shock value for lack of a better term because when I first looked at it, I definitely was really shocked. I thought it was kind of ugly, I thought everything was kind of all over the place, and overall it just kind of like hit me like a ton of bricks. But then when I got the chance to blink for a second and take a deep breath and look away and then look back at it again, I actually really started to like its design. So overall, I kind of like instantly warmed up to this Pokemon after being initially shocked and horrified by its design, which is kind of harsh to be honest, but I think that's kind of what this Pokemon is going for at the same time. So overall, I like its design. I think it's a cool looking Pokemon, and I'm absolutely going to love this Pokemon if my theory on its origins and its lore within the Pokemon world turns out to be true. Okay, so getting into some possible origins now, the first thing that struck me about this Pokemon is the fact that it is a monkey Pokemon in a UK-based region, two things which typically don't really go together. I know that when it comes to Pokemon, you can technically have any kind of Pokemon appear in any region, and it doesn't really have to be truly based on the area of the world that this region is based, because this is a fantasy franchise at the end of the day, but when it comes to mythical Pokemon specifically and legendary Pokemon, they typically tend to be tied to the origins of their region and the lore and the mythology of the place that their region is inspired by a little more closely than the rest of the Pokemon, which is why it's even more peculiar that this Pokemon would be based on a monkey, considering it's a mythical. So I immediately went to researching monkeys in European folklore and mythology, and I actually found something that fits pretty well. In England, specifically in the county of Cambridgeshire, there is the story of something known as the Shug Monkey, which is supposedly a supernatural, demon-like creature that takes the form of a combination between a dog and a monkey. This creature is said to have haunted the area and is also said to have a jet black, shaggy, and overall raggedy type of appearance. And this actually fits with the appearance of Zerude extremely well, because even though it doesn't look like the direct combination of a dog and a monkey, look at its face, look at its snout. While that is not the type of nose and snout that you would necessarily find weird on a monkey-like creature, it very much looks like the snout of a dog or a wolf or some kind of other similar creature. In addition, this Pokemon is also jet black in color and also does have a raggedy and overall shaggy type of appearance. And finally, of the monkey Pokemon we have right now, this one has definitely got to be the least monkey-like of all of them. If you take a look at some of the other monkey Pokemon, like the Elemental Monkeys for instance, or even Rillaboom, also out of the Galar region, you can clearly tell that they are unequivocally monkey Pokemon. There isn't really anything going for them outside of their typings that really does anything to differentiate their monkey-type body. Whereas with Zerude, while you can tell it's a monkey, it also looks very much more like a monster at the same time. It's not as on the nose as those other Pokemon are, which I think could contribute to this Pokemon possibly being based on this Shug Monkey creature. 
Can't say for sure, obviously, but it does line up pretty dang well in my opinion and would be really cool if this is indeed what Zerude was inspired by. Now we're really gonna get into the exciting stuff and talk about the possible lore of this Pokemon. Another one of the very first things that piqued my interest when this Pokemon was first revealed was its name, because it has the exact same naming scheme in terms of the prefix of its name as Zacian and Zamazenta, the main box art legendaries of Pokemon Sword and Shield. And if you know anything about Game Freak and how they designed their Pokemon, then you would know that this is absolutely not a coincidence. This is not the kind of thing that is just going to randomly happen, it's not going to be a random commonality, because they put way too much thought and effort into their Pokemon for this type of thing to happen, especially when it comes to the super important legendary and mythical Pokemon of this region, which tells me that there could be some kind of connection between all of these Pokemon. We do know that Zacian and Zamazenta's names come from the phrase the Cyan and the Magenta respectively, referring to their overall colors, and that was the sort of nickname that the people of Galar gave these Pokemon because they were seen so few and far between. So naturally, I felt like the same thing could be going on with Zerude as well for one of the main colors of its body, and that would be green. It does make a lot of sense for Zerude to be the green legendary when Zacian and Zamazenta are the blue and red legendary, because that actually happens a lot of time within Pokemon, where the colors red, green, and blue are represented in some way, shape, or form in the prominent Pokemon and within the games themselves. And while admittedly this isn't as natural of a fit as Zacian and Zamazenta's names are in terms of the color, there is actually a way that this works really well that I do legitimately feel like could be the actual name origins of this Pokemon. So in addition to the Za part of its name, the other half of its name could also come from the Spanish word for green, Verde, which also pops up in a lot of other Latin-based languages. At first, you can kind of see some similarities between this word and the name of Zerude, but it's not necessarily a perfect fit. However, another part of this Pokemon's design that could factor into its name that I really think pulls all of this together perfectly is the fact that this Pokemon is kind of a big jerk. Not only is its category the Rogue Monkey Pokemon, but the Sword and Shield website also talks about how aggressive and unruly and generally very rude this Pokemon is, and I believe that word is the final piece of the puzzle that really puts all of this together. If we combine the words verde, meaning green, with the word rude, and then the prefix za, translating to the as the nickname for these kinds of Pokemon, putting it all together translates to the rude green, which perfectly describes this Pokemon in a nutshell, just as the cyan or the magenta perfectly describes Zacian and Zamazenta as well. So overall, I definitely feel like this Pokemon is going to have some type of connection to Zacian and Zamazenta, and the thing that really seals the deal for me on this is the fact that the Sword and Shield website also states that this Pokemon lives in dense forests. Well, when it comes to Galar, there are two different options for dense forests. There is the Glimwood Tangle, but more importantly, there is also the Slumbering Wield, which is where Zacian and Zamazenta reside reside within the main story of the game. So with all of this coming together and being really significant in terms of the connections that we're making, I fully expect Zerude to have some kind of serious connection with Zacian and Zamazenta. Maybe back in the day Zerude basically was a Pokemon that caused absolute havoc in the Gala region, and Zacian and Zamazenta were the Pokemon that had to keep it in line. We have no idea at this point if this Pokemon is going to have any kind of event within the game or if it's just going to be handed to us, but hopefully it will have some kind of official event, and hopefully that event takes place within the Slumbering Wield, and this Pokemon's connection to Zacian and Zamazenta can be formally established. All in all though, those are just my thoughts and speculations and theories about what the overall lore and origin of Zerude could be. Genuinely, I actually do feel really confident about all of this, so I am really really looking forward to seeing if there is any kind of true connection between Zacian and Zamazenta to this Pokemon, because I feel like that would be fantastic, but overall, we'll just have to wait and see. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and let me know all of your thoughts and opinions about this Pokemon in the comments below. If you guys are new to the channel as well, be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content all the time, and you can support me further if you would like by listening to my Pokemon remixes on Spotify and checking out my Pokemon Cardinal project if you haven't yet. With all of that being said, I'll be back with another video on Saturday, so hit that notification bell so you can know as soon as it goes live, and with all that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and until the next one, as always, I will smell you guys later.